All right, so I bought this car a few days ago. It has the Evo turbos in here. I think it's a 20G turbos. I'm not 100% sure, but these look like 20G turbos. Um, apparently, it has knocking noise, said the bottom end or something like that. And take the heads off, looking at them. Heads are brand new. I'm not sure if these are stock cams, I'm not sure, but I have to look a little bit further to see, but um, apparently the car doesn't start. Um, the fuel pump is in the trunk, it's completely rotted, and it's car been parking for eight years. Um, I guess the previous dyno shows the car was making 500 and something horsepower. So. Um, I went ahead and I fixed everything to get it to where I could start it. And since the bottom end is not a figure, what else do I have to lose? If you look at the timing belt, um, it needs to replace. You try to rotate the engine, it seems like it's stuck a little bit, but I went ahead and I hope up a, a pond with some fuel in it. Didn't get it to start, so I went ahead and put some starter fluid in. Got the car to start, and is ticking like really knocking. Like. But what I found out is the noise is not coming from the bottom. It sounds like it's coming from somewhere up here. So we got to take the valve covers off, and they have the 99 lifters in it. So this kind of puzzles me because I know the 99 lifters is pretty much the way to go um, to get rid of the ticking noise, but it's ticking way too loud. So you see these lifters are brand new, right? But when you go ahead to try to push it down, it doesn't move. That's a good sign. Go ahead, try to push this one down again. It doesn't move. So that's another good sign for me, right? So. Come in here and went ahead, start looking through the car. We have a lot of goodies. I think this is the this will fall up here. Yep. Got some more goodies. So this is goes up here. Nice. It's some old school stuff right here. So that's for that. All right. Have a great management blue here. Got all the controllers, everything. For the boost controller, all that stuff here. But when I look in the car, I see these. All right, I see these. So that's another sign of good news again. So most likely they didn't know where the noise coming from. They bought these 99 lifters again. Brought it to the shop. It sat for a couple of years. By looking at how everything is all crumbled, most likely the person panicked, didn't want to touch it. So he sent it back to them. Based on what I'm hearing and what I'm putting together. So, digging more into it, I got the car to start and it's ticking a lot from up here. So, another good news is I think the bottom end is good and the low ticking noise I'm hearing is the lifters because the lifters are stuck. The lifters are completely, completely stuck. It's not doing anything. So, if that's the case, this is a good fucking find. Brand new heads. This car only have 110,000 miles. I guess it was a freshly rebuilt. I'm not sure if the bottom end is built. I'm not sure. So that I'm gonna have to look further into. But um, this thing has this in here for the coilovers, which I guess you maybe control the damping on it. I'm not sure. Never really messed with it before, so I don't know. But some nice turbos on here this coil setup i saw this back in the days i just never saw one in person so i'm gonna take it apart and see how it is looks very interesting so i'm gonna check that out other than that man this car have a lot of good stuff on there it has a surge tank right here air motor fuel pressure regulator um, battery run to the trunk it has a couple of relays up here i'm guessing most like the part for the pump and Maybe for the headlights, I think. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm gonna dig more into this thing and see what I find. But so far, 
good news so far fingers crossed the only issue it has is the sticky noise right here so i'm gonna change the lifters out and then um i'm gonna try to get a little bit more fuel in the car because the the um even interior is clean it's not bad but the the tank is rusted and this the sending unit which is, i can I can reuse the that change the pump see everything is completely rusty so i'm gonna have to clean the tank so let me dig some more into it and see what i can find but for right now the trunk is missing that's all the fuel right there so i'm gonna try to clean the tank out and see if i could save it if not so we can find another tank or probably put a fuel cell in here but so far this is a good find 